Hello again, it is Andrew from the HRD class, back to make another video about a video editing software and what do you know. I'm probably just going to go over again the same exact software I did in week 3 and that would be Tiny Take. It is a software I found online, it is free to use and like I said in the previous video, the only issue is it's got about a 5 minute run time if you do not buy the $10 software premium version, which I'm probably not going to do. Okay, so basically what I went ahead and did to show you guys kind of the editing functions, this software is able to uh, capture videos or capture screenshots. I went ahead and took a screenshot of my desktop, obviously, and you can see. Um, and I'm just going to kind of piddle paddle with it and show you guys some easy stuff and little things that might be helpful if we ever have to make an instructional video, or which I'm sure we'll have to, things like that. Um, so you got your actions, your shapes, your annotations, your effects, your colors, and your formatting. Um, they got little annotations like this. You can point to certain like schoolwork. Look at that. That can definitely be useful if like we're making an instructional video. Here's some shapes, and I'm sure you can include text box or if you're looking for something important that you need to put in a little category like so, it'll do its job. Um, there's a crop, which is kind of cool. You can apply kind of if you need to single out some certain things. What else do we got here? We got highlighter so if you need anything highlighter that's important you know obviously another cool handy little tool text box which is also be super handy if you don't have a mic or if you can't communicate keyboards always a solid way to go so you can you know highlight certain things you can give instructions through this this program is pretty simple to use uh, to me it kind of seems like a simplified microsoft word editing programmer to me that's the best way i can put it you can save, you can share, you can do all that cool stuff. Like I said, the software is super easy. Um, it's not too hard to use. Anyone that has the slightest computer knowledge can figure it out. They keep it simple. You know, I like to say, keep it simple, stupid. So that's cool. there's some font details that you might be able to use. There's the sizing. The th I don't really know what the thickness is. What, what is this for? Oh, okay, cool. So it's for your text boxes. So I guess... If you really want to make it stick out or seem important, you can up the thickness quite a bit. So, yeah, I mean, this program isn't, it, like I said in the previous video, and I've said already probably a million times in this video, it is not hard to use. So, I, I, I feel, honestly, I'll feel pretty confident about using this software, because this is also the second time I've used it. I haven't used it since the week three video. I guess I really haven't had much reason to, but... It's simple to use. Like I haven't even messed with it previous to this, and I've already, you know, kind of figured all this stuff out. I wish there was. A, I mean, the only downside is, aside from it being so simple, I guess that's not really a downside. But I just wish there was maybe a little bit more options, and maybe there is in the premium version. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure they give you a little bit more of an editing curve if you have, you know, the ten dollar version. But I have the freebie, and I think this is all I got. And I think that'll get me through this class, which I'm totally okay with. I don't really see any problems with it. It seems like to be a great software, simple as key for, you know, any successful, successful software. So, yeah, I plan on using this in week eight as well. It's been good to me, like I've said before, and I have had no problems with it. So, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys.